in the raw. Arcade's guy in the free media. And I'm your friend, your brother, Haji Dr. Ocean Khan. On Monday, October 31st, 2022, how quickly the year passes by. Use your time and your energies are still with you and the breathing of the Lord's air cautiously because time fleets and the energy will be depleted and the body will not be able to breathe that air with pleasure. Just a little message before I go to the point that I wanted to, friends and families, my divine brothers and sisters. This is a letter that was sent out to my Prime Minister, Brigadier Retired Mark, Mark Anthony Phillips. A total and absolute ever-living genius gentleman a gentleman and a humanist. Mr. Mark Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. Brigadier retired. Proud to have him as our Prime Minister and a truly a marksman of administration and management for the Guyanese people and our nation, Guyana. He is very concerned, and this was published in October 30th, 2022, and was all over the internet and so on and very well written and articulated and he's writing about the opposition race baiting agenda exposed by prime minister mark phillips a few weeks ago i had come to publicly confront the apno afc with the truth and expose their vicious crusade to incite raci racial hostility in our communities. Well, I know some members of the PNC, some, like when the opportunities arise in racism, and some of our people are usually brutalized and beaten. It's a historic thing from the 60s coming all the way down up to recent times, as we see, and we, we saw Norton's uh, pronouncements, we understand some of them actually enjoy that from the People's National Congress. And unfortunately, the APNO by extent and the AFC being the acolyte, acolyte satellite, uh, useless phenomena, they stay quiet in most cases. They're scared of losing the nine seats in which this case, the PNC R was most benevolent to give them nine free seats because they didn't win even one. Friends and families. So he's talking about this, trying to incite racial hostility in a beautiful country with such divine love amongst our peoples, all of us whom depend upon each other for survival. Therefore, it is not surprising that the response from the PNC camp flowed with great adocracy, drawing on a few forgotten individuals, just to make sure I got the right word right, forgotten individuals to engage in ad hominem attacks instead of addressing the truth of government's programs and policies. I have outlined the responses uh, uh, provide ample proof that the PNC and their agents are engaged in a systematic race-based campaign to derail our democracy and curtail government government's transformational agenda. Comment. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, friends and families, in the raw, the government of the day, well, in this case, it's the PPPC government, whichever it would have been, is doing something very spectacular. 
and is winning the hearts and the minds of the people. Going into the nooks and crannies of the country, where no one ever visited them in the interior, down in the coastal belt, deep down in their back areas where people have been technically left and abandoned with basically whatever they can do to survive. And the winning hearts, and they're bringing this race baiting thing knowing that they are losing. And we know that in the PNCR, there is a, a fringe element. A French element, not the PNCR, because PNCR is one party that I have loved since the time of you, Desmond Hoyt, and highly respected him, highly respected president, that worked with all the people. I recall when Forbes Burnham passed, and he was he became, you know, Desmond Hoyt, ladies and gentlemen, he became the president. And the first thing he said, because he know indo Guyanese felt marginalized and broken and beaten. And he said, I was a breath of fresh air to all of us, that I will be the president of all the people. His language was so much different and even refreshing. Now this president, Dr. Irfan Ali basically is using the same system of going out and winning hearts and minds. For five years, the PNC was in power in the thing called APNO AFC. And as for the AFC, just lumped them aside. A total set of waste and useless set of people enjoying the free nine seats that they got from the PNCR. Yeah, forget about the rest, the APNU, what they call APNU. From the PNCR, give them nine seats because the EMC couldn't, could not win anything. And here now we have a president and a government with its ministers, including the brigadier retired, uh, Mark Phillips, going everywhere in the country, meeting and serving people, listening to their problems, solve it, solve it instantaneously, and if not, at the earliest opportunity. And our president, I will always say, he has an extraordinary brain. Excellency, Dr. Irfan Ali, he never forgets. So he's saying, trans they're trying to derail the government's transformational agenda. The respondents cannot be engaged in any serious way. So because of that attitude, how can the government feel comfortable to talk to you, Aubrey? You're always talking nonsense. Uh, leave um, Ram Jatan aside. Right now they're making, because elections coming on and they might be coming out and they want to run a load, they're trying to make hay while the sun shines with too much of insanity and nonsensicalities. But I'm coming to Ram Chetan and Kathy Hughes, my friend that I respect and love, but it's politics. I'm coming to horror on them in other presentations. Now, let me go on. Firstly, Senior Minister with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashley Singh, has already publicly pronounced on Nigel Hines' personal agenda and exposed the reason for his contrived attacks against government. I do believe he is seeking to erase his comical political blunders of the past at the expense of destroying our democracy. So men like Heinz, who lost out, who did nothing tangible on a, the political sphere to help this country or even themselves are bent on destroying this fragile, beautiful, delicious democracy that we have. Secondly, Mr. Hamilton Green also raised questions about my character. Mr. Mark Phillips, Brigadier, retired Prime Minister, about his character through the letter pages. Firstly, 
Mr. Sherwood Lowe needed two letters to muster his overall minuscule response. I also did a response, and I think that was in the raw of Sherwood Lowe. I mean, a petty, ridiculous attack, expecting better from this man who knows how to use um, politics for opportunity and the social groupings and opportunities as an opportunist. I move on. Before my retirement as Brigadier and Chief of Staff in 2016, I have held appointments at all levels of the Guyana Defense Force, an organization made up of predominantly afro guyanese And that is true. The military and the police are usually more, and the public service, attracted, attractive to afro guyanese Over my 36 years of military service, I have counseled many young men and women, preparing them for leadership positions, not just in the military, but whatever and wherever life takes them. Prime Minister Mark Phillips speaks. It bears repeating that as an afro guyanese I'm proud of the pathway to prosperity for all Guyanese under the one Guyana framework and the leadership of President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali. Nonetheless, the opposition wants to shift the conversation to the messenger as they are confronted with the truth. The leaders of the APNU and AFC are well known to cower when faced with the truth. That is, that is absolutely so. One time during the count at Ashman's building, Someone told, just to create some diversion, confusion, as they were losing, they knew from the socks that they were going to lose now, and they had to pull everything out to try to confuse the people and to rig and cheat and so on. They said, well, now president, but then candidate, presidential candidate, Irfan Ali, went in there with others with guns blazing. Well, not blazing, but showing guns and how can you with all the police and the military and officers around there go in there with all the guns and not get arrested you know mr harman you listen to them and you talk it out and you sound so ridiculous and when the news went out you sound so ridiculous uh, with total absolute absurd nonsensicalities and this is what the pnc can't see what about um the, the, the current press, the, the current leader of the opposition and PNC leader. Till now, we can't correct it that they were wrong. They lied to win respect. No wonder why they are losing um, financial support. No wonder they are, they, 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 they're losing. So, in that case, they will attack the messenger. In that case, now when I used to, when I developed the in the raw, our case kind of free media, they um, they were very annoyed with me, and so I started to get all kinds of attacks. So till today, they put some people to attack me, and everything is ethnicity. Once you don't agree with them, them and their supporters are calling ethnic ethnicity, ethnicity, you're racial, you're racial, but they can't show anything showing racial. How can we be racial to the Afro Guyanese? who were our teachers, our leaders, our master, our protectors, our military masters and geniuses, our teachers, educators, judges. Look, man, look, um, uh, uh, Afro-Guyanese people, all they need is to be applauded and respected, except for those who allow themselves to be used by those who got brains and thinks they, think they can use them. When we recall this same unscrupulous group fed their supporters a steady dose of lies about possessing the statements of polls to provide that the party had won the 2020 election. Their SOPs are still to be produced. Aubrey Norton, polls. Man respected, Mr. Granger, polls. Harmon, polls. Polls, polls. 
PLCR, Poles. <laughs> Ram Jetan. Show, 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 show him here. Handsome guy. We show him, handsome guy. Ram Jetan. You know, Ram Jetan said that they arrested three persons at the Marriott who were interfering with information and the record keeping of the GCOM and they arrested them when they were speaking Russian with the, with, with uh, Baruch Jagdeo speaking Russian because he knows Russian and they arrested them and deported two and one escaped you know and they didn't take no photographs and put no arrest no press release nothing out there just making an allegation out of the desperation for position and then he wanted to be prime minister so Ram Jatan Ram Jatan Ram Jatan you are the cause of the up no losing because people didn't want you to be no prime minister you don't have that personality that class that style like Moses Nagamutu you don't have that and then you tell too much lies and I know lawyers got to tell lies to, 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 to survive to, to live to eat you know, I mean, I understand this. And so it became, becomes a part of their nature now to get money. They will do all kinds of things, including lies and, and so on. But, you know, they are very honorable and good lawyers who will follow the law and uh, deal with respect and honor according to what the law, even if it's lies. But some of them are just desperados. The afternoon AFC wants to shift the conversation so they can continue to fan the flames of division using sociopaths to fuel their message and then they start to beat like what they did. And you recall when I might be repeating it here, when people Indians were being beaten and burnt at Mon I mean beaten and burnt and they saw, saw their, their items stolen and they feel like they had a right to do it. And oh yes, Ram Jatan did come out and pronounced that it was wrong, but we didn't get anything right away or very soon from the PNC, PNCR. You have disassociated yourselves from our community, um, Norton. You have disassociated your party. Uh, as a friend and a former supporter, former friend and former supporter, you have lost many like me. And also afro Guyanese. that's why you all are, are technically starving of funds. With the truth out in the open, the APNU and AFC wants to shift the conversation whereby seeking to display the government's engagement with afro guyanese leaders and communities, many of whom are seeing high-level ministerial engagements for the first time. By shifting the conversation, the APNU and the AFC is hoping... Let me go to page 6. The Guyanese will ignore the infrastructural works taking place in afro Guyanese communities across the country and the award of contracts to afro Guyanese. Is this what's going to happen, Aubrey Norton? No. afro Guyanese people are intellectual people, wise people, and they will recognize that. As I've previously outlined, there are opportunities equally available to afro Guyanese and other ethnic groups through the policies and interventions of the PVPC government. Our government plan, our government's plan of prosperity include every single Guyanese. Our president, myself and all ministers of government have been working in all communities across the country, including the opposition strongholds. Most, and, and you know what, my, my commentary on that, they are nervous. They're nervous. Uh, even at, when the leaders shake the hands of the president, they're having a heart attack. Aubrey Norton is having an heart attack. That guy has brought himself so badly. PNCR, that's the man you all will be, make your presidential candidate. Aubrey Norton. More citizens from these communities have been benefiting more under our government than when the afternoon AFC coalition was in office. As a matter of fact, they didn't do anything with these people except the rich Indian guys and themselves were sucking everything out for themselves and the rich Indian guys, including a master contractor. 
people have been benefiting from road development and upgrade of sports facilities, university scholarships, while our local artists have been given the opportunities of support that they have never had before by performing regularly at many government events. All these initiatives benefiting afro guyanese indo Indo-Guyanese, chinese guyanese Amerindian guyanese portuguese guyanese european guyanese and mixed guyanese there is a massive housing drive taking place our government has already distributed over 11,000 house lots so friends and families the prime minister is just reminding these guys roughly 50 percent of the allottees were went to afro guyanese alone 41% to Indo-Guyanese and just over 7% to mixed races. So here in the housing sector, the Afro-Guyanese were benefiting better and the, the APNO AFC it did virtually nothing. I appeal to Guyanese not to become entrapped by the perversion of an opposition that is increasingly becoming more isolated and I would add irrelevant, losing significant grounds in politics is your only response which we will we will we all must continue to reject they become more isolated and repeating losing significant grounds in politics is their only response which which we all must continue to reject under the PPP see there will be harmony and unity amongst our people and this seems to hurt the opposition as it goes against their vision and agenda to have a united Guyana. It is against their agenda. I will continue to resist and expose the PNC's ridiculous claim that every, with every fiber of my being, by presenting the truth about government's many initiatives in infrastructure, education, health, and other sectors that are creating bountiful opportunities for all Guyanese. President Dali and all, all cabinet ministers will continue to deliver to the people and our focus will remain towards develop, developing our country and doing what's best for our people. Respectfully, Brigadier Retired Mark Anthony Phillips, Prime Minister of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, along with some inputs and takes from yours truly, your friend, your brother, Haji Dr. Roshanker.